And then we went to other places in Germany, and we went to, uh, we were in London, and then we sent a show out that was an exchange, a Millennium Exchange, the year 2000, between ourselves and Akaba, which is an anagram for an artist collective in London. Uh, we sent work to Berlin, we sent work to um, uh, uh, Israel, we sent work to uh, Belfast. Uh, the beauty is, is that if you can't afford to go, or you can't afford to send people, you can afford to take a box of 30 pieces of paper and send it, give it away. And they put it up, and I don't care if they put it up with bulldog clips, they put it up, you've got a show there. It's a resume builder, and we can say this is our exhibition. That's what I did. I pushed the international shows. Karen gave me the opportunity to do the USIA show. Then we did it with the UKLA Exchange, United Kingdom, LA, an exchange. People were saying, what the hell are you doing, you know, I mean, what are we doing, you know, these are, the, these are like the drop dead rounds of Anglos, why are you doing this? We did an exchange with the Glasgow Prince Studio, now the Glaswegians are Scottish and they think of themselves as Chicanos, in fact, if you call them an Anglo, you better duck because they're going to hit you. It's like the Irish, we are not English, we are not Anglo. They've got that mindset. And this beautiful printmaking studio, and we did an exchange where they brought a couple of artists that were in residence here. We went back, we did different things. Eventually, while the artists were here, Ashley and Janie, they're sitting around and they're watching everybody get ready for Dia de los Muertos. Great, great, I mean, self-help is bound zero for Dia de los Muertos. And they're going, yeah, we went to do that, we don't get to do that in Glasgow. And so we spent a year exchanging information. Eventually, they did a Day of the Dead in the streets of Glasgow, a procession plus an exhibition. We sent them Ophelia Sparso, who is a national treasure. She's a multi-generational altar artist. We sent Yolanda Gonzalez again. We call her the Yolanda Gonzalez Experience because she's this very large, boisterous, remarkably beautiful, gregarious woman. And they were forever changed by that. So, what I think I did in terms of my contribution was to take the local art and help foster it internationally. And I'm very proud of that. I also did something else which was specific to say, Chicanos does not mean just us. And we, we, we hackneyed out a bunch of, I, we were in collaboration with the uh, Boyle Heights Project with Jews and Japanese and Molokans. We were in collaboration with a project that looked at the African American and Latino experience. We did an exchange with Israel and ended up, I ended up going to Israel to go talk about Chicano art. Um, the whole idea was that, was that to include is to expand. And it doesn't take away from the experience, it layers the experience. So the experience is genuine. I don't care if people are going around reading Guadalupe, watch swabs or, or, or mouse pads, or I don't care if they got Day of the Dead in the camera box. We were very, very honorable about how we did Day of the Dead. But from there, take it and run with it. It's okay, you need to use it for Prop 187, anti-Prop 187 didactic, go ahead. You want to turn it into a Hollywood thing and do it at Hollywood forever? Go ahead. We know that like the hamburger, and I use the, the, the analogy of the, the very special sausage recipe in Hamburg, Germany that went to Madison, Wisconsin and became the hamburger, that it changes by the time you get to McDonald's. You know, it's like the number one fast food in America is not the hamburger, it's the taco. Okay, you can have the taco. We'll get the tacos, but you can have the taco. We'll share that with you. You can't steal it from me because I'm giving it to you. So we were doing that with Day of the Dead in terms of the Verite. Taking it to Glasgow, they were honoring the tradition and then adding their own stuff. And that to me was the best of the cultural exchange. And I was anxious to do that. We did that a lot with a lot of cultural organizations that were non-Chicano, Latino, Mexicano. Because I felt it was important. Oh, by the way, the USIA exhibition went to another 30 different sites throughout Mexico. And let me tell you, man, when you take Chicanos into Mexico and you kick ass, you're kicking ass because then Chica the Mexicanos are hard on Chicanos. You know, it's like in that movie, Selena, where the father says, it's hard being a Mexican-American. We're not Mexican enough for the Mexicans. We're not American enough for the Americans. You know, but the Mexicanos kept it and it's now part of the permanent collection at the embassy in Mexico City. 
and they send it out to this day to different venues and universities and they've got images and they've got books. So again, you're resonating with how that impacts the artists that were represented in that thing. And very, very proud of those two things, plus the 5,000 people that show up today the dead because that might be kind of like in retrospect a little too showbiz because it was always kind of like a very popular and crowded thing, but really just out of safety issues, I said, you know, let's take it outside. So we went out into the parking lot and we closed the street one year and it just got to be more bigger, better. It was like, oh man, yeah, you know? But uh, it got started with Karen and a bunch of artists, Osco and a bunch of artists, Lily Moore at the old space. And then it just sort of became show busy. And then one year I got Mervyn's to help pay for it because I used to tell people, you know, free gets more expensive every year, you know, and we had this free thing going on. And, oh man, there's a well-known famous artist who called me up and just ripped me an extra one and said, don't sell Day of the Dead out. And I said, I'm not selling it out. You know, they, the, the, the corporate sponsor had offered us $70,000 for the name at the top of the poster, Presents. So I can't do that. The artist present. You know, we settled for $30,000 at the bottom of it said, sponsored by. And it was a dynamic where people didn't understand, you know, I have to pay for these marigolds and these tents and the bodies. Um, but um, those were good things that I was very proud of. And I'm out of time, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>